Monsoon moisture. I did hear that. Which is always such a weird term. It is. So what does it mean for us? Because you really don't hear monsoon living in this area. I'm going to show that to you because there is a okay. chance. He, the chance he's talking about actually could be here as early as next week. It is low. It's not unheard of. But it's really rare to get it in June. And we'll see what the likelihood of that is. Before we get to that chance of a shower early next week, which is small, we got a warm up coming. We're going to start out in the Tri Valley, Dublin. That's you. It's 52 degrees here. If we look at the warming trend for the Tri Valley into the weekend, we'll go a little farther down 580, and we'll use Livermore as the example. Low 80s today, near 90 on Sunday. So that's the first thing. It's going to warm up going into the weekend. You really feel it inland. If you're in the Bay, it's not going to change at all. San Francisco, Oakland, the next three days are identical. San Francisco, that's a live view now from the top of the Mark Hopkins Hotel where it's 52 degrees. You'll be in the mid-60s today. You'll be in the mid-60s all the way through the weekend. If we look at the marine layer today, there's not a whole lot to it. So that's all gone by late morning, and you're going to have plenty of sunshine today with daytime highs that look like this. And those are pretty much right on the mark for average. We have been warming up a little bit over the last few days, and that's a trend that will take us into those mid and upper 80s for the inland valleys by the time we get to Saturday and Sunday. More on that warm up in a second. Let's get into this change for early next week. If you take a look at the big picture, look at this out here. Line of showers coming our way. That is an area of low pressure that it's barely even visible on here. You don't even see it approach the coast. What we want to do is take a look over here back closer to home. That's us. Watch the time frame. The brighter the shades of color, the higher the amounts available moisture in the atmosphere right there. Did you see that? That gets us into Monday and Tuesday. That area of low pressure from the Pacific is going to help to pull some of the moisture from the desert southwest. That's where the summer monsoon lives. That's where they get thunderstorms all summer long in the afternoon. Every once in a while, some of that moisture comes far enough west we tap into it as energy and, if, and fuel for scattered showers. The, the odds on this are very low, but as we get into Monday and Tuesday, we could see a stray shower. Think about it this way. There's a 20% chance we might get a drop or two of rain on Monday and Tuesday of next week. We're certainly going to get the cool down from it. You don't see it so much for San Francisco and Oakland, but you do for the North Bay and South Bay. So the cool down is certain, 20% chance of a drop or two of rain, and a 10% chance that that drop of rain might be a little heavier and come in the form of an isolated thunderstorm. It's early, it's complicated. We'll be watching that closely through the next several days. Gianna, how's the drive looking? You know, it is a busy start to your Friday commute.